We want you to take a look at something. This is 149 pages, count them, and your kid's college is now scrambling to read through all of this. The feds want to overhaul the way colleges and universities handle sexual misconduct. One of the biggest changes, more protections for students who are accused. Melissa Correa is at the University of Houston. And Mel, when we say colleges are scrambling, we mean it. Oh, absolutely, Mia. From the deans to the counselors, police, everybody who handles sex assault and harassment cases on campus is working through that massive proposal because not only do they have to understand it, listen, if this thing is finalized, they have to be ready to implement it. 149 pages of paperwork offering protections, definitions, and a higher standard of proof. Education Secretary Betsy DeVos just rolled out her plan for colleges and universities, saying every survivor of sexual violence must be taken seriously, and every student accused must know that guilt is not predetermined. More than 220,000 people are enrolled in Houston colleges right now, and these campuses aren't ready to comment quite yet, each saying they need to read through the paperwork to fully understand the changes. KHOU, which stands for Houston, is breaking down the biggest takeaways. New protections for students accused of sexual assault or harassment, giving them the right to review all evidence the school collects and the opportunity to cross-examine their accuser. A clear definition of sexual misconduct as it being so severe, pervasive, and objectively offensive that it effectively denies a person equal access to the school's education program or activity. And schools would only be required to investigate complaints if they actually happened on campus. And schools would be able to help victims who don't want to formally file a complaint. Listen, this proposal went online today. That means there's now a 60 day period in which you can look at it and comment on day 61. The Department of Education can vote, finalize this thing and then put it into action. And that's why colleges and university universities rather are scrambling to understand it because between the holidays and the changing of the semesters, this is a lot to process. I will tell you this. U of H just reached out to us. We have a statement. It's online now at KHOU.com. Len and Mia.